<laughs> it's going to stay hot, it looks like, Brandon. We might get a bit of relief by the middle of the week, and we'll likely have a little bit of wet weather this week as well. But, boy, it's gorgeous out there today. Check out all the folks enjoying the lake. This is Blues Lake on a Father's Day weekend, first weekend of summer. Lots of folks getting outdoors and enjoying the heat right? The temperature is way up there today. Our high this afternoon was 87 degrees. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Hopefully you had a great day. You know, we're right around where we should be for late June. The average is about 86 this time of year, and we're going to keep it in the upper 80s. We might even punch it up a little more closer to 90 for the early part of this week. Right now, not only is it 86 in Winston-Salem, but 86 in Greensboro, 84 in North Wilkesboro. It's a little bit cooler in Martinsville. We've actually had a little rain. Now, it should be pretty dry if you're grilling out for Father's Day or maybe you're getting takeout or dining out on one of the outdoor patios. We do have a spotty shower here and there, but I think it will stay largely dry across the area with temperatures in the 70s. Just pay attention if the clouds start to roll in. We do have a couple of showers right now. One is just to the north. It's moved through Martinsville and now headed to the uh, east there near Danville. We also had some showers up over the mountains, and you can see just a little bit of shower and thunderstorm activity from a wave that is out to our west that may hold together and produce a shower overnight early tomorrow morning but again this would be very isolated i mentioned it only in case a few of you do wake up with a shower and say wait a minute you didn't say it was going to rain we do have that spotty chance out there temperatures in the mid to upper 60s and we do have some fog in the forecast when it's hot like this it's great weather for the pool and i don't think we're going to see many storms out there tomorrow it should be kind of cloudy to start then some sunshine and in the afternoon there is a storm chance I've taken our high temperatures into the upper 80s for tomorrow and Tuesday. I do think we have a little bit of wet weather in here with the front on Wednesday, so I'll take the temps down a little bit. Well, you can see that everybody across the eastern half of the nation has been experiencing some really hot air. So St. Louis is at 89, Memphis at 87, and there have been a couple of thunderstorms that have reached severe limits out to our west. So you do see some of the orange shading there for active severe thunderstorm warnings. Our threat for severe weather is very low tonight, and it is very low tomorrow, and it is very low on Tuesday, meaning I don't think we're going to see any storms that go severe in our area. Most of that will stay well to our west might have a rumble of thunder, but really most of what we'll see is a spotty shower. So working through the day tomorrow, we'll take you into early tomorrow morning where it's going to be warm again, upper 60s. There's your shower chance out there in the morning. And then notice a few clouds, at least early with that wave. Then we'll have some sunshine. And I think in the afternoon sun, we're not going to get much in the way of rain tomorrow. So I'm only keeping in a very isolated chance for a late day storm. Those uh, storm chances at about 20% in the triad, as well as the foothills, the temperatures again in the upper 80s, becoming mainly sunny in the mountains by afternoon. Also a slight chance of a shower. We really have this big ridge of heat across our area. There is an area of low pressure that is just to our east. It is non-tropical right now, but if it moves over the Gulf Stream waters, it could strengthen and become a subtropical system. So yeah, we'd be moving on to the next name on the list. But for our weather pattern, there's a front out over the Pacific Northwest. I think it finally gets here on Wednesday, brings us our best storm chance, and then we're going to heat up again into next weekend.